Hi there. Welcome to my build of this 45 inch wingspan new era 3 revisited. These are a really good set of plans and I'm really enjoying this build. I got these plans from the Outer Zone website, they're freely available. Now in the previous videos we've constructed the kind of the main skeleton of the wing and the last video in particular we glued the two wings together. Now the next stage We've, we've finished them off, they're nice and smooth, and the next stage now is to start doing the sheeting. And the whole of this leading edge, top and bottom, is sheeted right the way across. On the, in the central section, we're going to sheet out to this third rib here, on the top. And we mustn't forget to leave these two holes here open, because that's where the uh, cables from the servo bays are going to come through, and then up into the fuselage. On the underside we're going to be sheeting out to this fourth rib here, so a little bit further than on the top. Now I've got some lovely soft balsa sorted out on, on my bench here and what I'm going to be doing is cutting that up to size and getting it ready so that I can I can then glue it on. And I'm probably going to be CAing this on rather than using a PVA or, or any other glue because the CA is something that I can do quite quickly and I can hold it in position and just go along and glue it. But the first thing we need to do before that is a locating dowel which I've done here and we'll just zoom in and, and take a, a closer look at that. Right well the one job that we need to do before we start doing the sheeting is to put in this central dowel here. Now we're looking at the centre rib here, it's a 316 balsa rib right in the middle of the two wings where they join. Now it would have probably been easier if I'd done the slot in there before I joined the wings but to be honest using a scalpel and then removing the blade just to take it out to the right size it took me just a few minutes so it's it's no big deal to do afterwards after the wings are joined. I then drilled a uh, a quarter inch hole in the leading edge just so that I could slot this piece of dowel in. Now this dowel is the locator peg which will fit into the fuselage when the wings are uh, fitted onto the fuselage so it'll, it, it'll hold them in place. Now they say on the plans to put the slot in, put the hole in but not to put the peg in until you've actually done the sheeting and a two inch section of fiberglass down the middle. Now I'm not going to do that, I'm going to glue it in now because I want to see where the glue goes on here and I want to make sure it's nice and secure. The only reason I could think to do the pegging, put the peg in afterwards is because the peg may get in the way of doing the fiberglassing and it would just make it easier if the peg wasn't there. But I would rather see the peg, see it's glued properly and then just work around it with the fiberglass. Well this is 332nd balsa and when we're getting it ready for sheeting the best advice I can give you is to just cut one edge very slightly just to, to make sure that it's straight. I mean if I put this against this, this steel rule you probably can't see in the camera but it's actually bowed, it, 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 it's, it's like, like a banana that way. Only very very slightly. So I'm going to trim just a very small fraction off and if you're going to trim balsa get yourself a straight edge this is a, a hardened steel straight edge it's a meter long it's quite heavy and it makes such a huge difference when cutting a, a long length like this it doesn't slide around like a, a thin roller wood so I'll get on and I'll, I'll prepare this balsa but I thought I'd just just mention that because I think that's quite quite important to make sure we start off with that straight edge. Right, well, I'm going to start the sheeting now. Just before I do that, I'll just show you. I've, I've glued this central quarter mil locating dowel here into the rib. And at the last minute, I decided to put a um, piece of one and a half mil ply either side of this rib, just mimicking the shape of the rib. I'm just moving close there, you can perhaps see that just to make that stronger, just so that dowel doesn't peel up under pressure. Uh, to be honest, I think it's overkill, but I thought I would do it anyway, because it won't add to the weight, or very little. 
uh, but it will make it a lot stronger. Looking at the plans, the sheeting only comes to the centre of this spar. If I hadn't looked at the plans, I'd have probably done it to that back edge, but they're showing it down the centre, and that kind of makes sense because it allows uh, something for the sheeting on this back section to go onto, so it's nice and secure. And I guess when I'm doing the cap strips, they, they'll have something to finish onto there. So that's fine. I've done a centre line down there, just so when I'm putting on the, the sheeting, I can, I can see if I'm in more or less the central location. And I've also done the same on this central, this central spar here, so I get it exactly in the centre. Just, it's just easier to, to, to locate that to when I'm doing it. So, I'm going to do this side first, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this into, loca in, into the location that I'm going to glue it, just along this back edge. And once I've got that glued, so I'm going to line that up like that, and then I'm going to pin it. Let's get one in the front here. Just using dressmaking pins rather than T pins. They're just finer. They're quite smooth. They're nice quality pins. I've left a bit of an overlap there, and I've lined it up with a little bit of overlap on the front. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to glue this from the inside all the way along, just applying pressure to the, the timber as I go. I've pinned it so that I know it's in the right place, I don't have to keep checking, and I can turn it over. I can't see the line, can't see that it's in the right place, but with those pins it's fine. So I'm going to glue in between each bay. I'm then going to fold this round as tight as I can so it's nice and, and, and snug on that front leading edge and I'm going to glue these fronts here and glue it to, to the ribs. And I'll just put a little bit of pressure on each one just to make sure that it's nice and, and firmly located on the rib. Well, I'm just going to start doing the, the sheeting on the underside now, having, having done the two, two top edges. And I've tacked on the, the sheeting onto the, the rear spar in the right place. Used the pins again to hold it in place while I just ran CA down the back. And now we've got this hinged like this, nice and loose. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a paintbrush and put on a little bit of this alphatic resin uh, oops, on, uh, onto, the, onto the ribs. I'm just going to put it down there and just put it onto the ribs like that. And then once I've got this on all of the ribs, I'm going to super glue along or CA along that, that front edge. I find it easier to put on the um, sheeting like this and then just stick the brush down and get the, uh, the glue onto the ribs like that. Just quick dab all the way along the rib right down into the, the corner of the sheeting and that will just hold the balsa onto the ribs nicely. Well there we 
go. I've got the top surface done, both sides, and I've done this underside here. And that's looking really nice, really nice and smooth. And I've just trimmed that with a scalpel at first, and then I use my David plane just to bring it down to that uh, leading edge piece of balsa there. And now the only thing that's left to do on this side is to bring that round to a nice, a nice ball nose finish. Now, still got this to do and the central sheeting, so I'd better get on. sheeted and I feel really pleased with it. You'll have seen the high speed video, hopefully some of that is useful, I thought I'd, I'd put it in there because it, it doesn't take too long to, to run through quickly. But now it's got the sheeting on it, I mean it still feels as light as a feather and yet it's got, it feels really strong, really sturdy, so I think this is going to be a, a, a really good wing, I'm really pleased with it. And, and you can see I've got the, the cap strips on top and bottom. I've cut the holes for the, the cables to come through from the, the servo, servo mounts and up into the, uh, up into the fuselage. And I've cut out there, you can see I've cut out for the, the servo tray and, and also for the landing gear. So it just needs a really good sand now, a good finish. I use my sanding stick and I'll just make sure that all these joints, I'll take it outside and do this, but I'll make sure all these joints are really nicely finished. And I've got the overhang to deal with here. Now, once that's done, I think we need to start thinking about the wingtips, but I won't do that until I've finished with it. And the wingtips are, are, are really straightforward. Essentially, they, they just glue on there with a block of balsa, top and bottom at the front and back, which will just profile in to give a, a, nice, a nice end to the wing. I think then I will probably do the aileron hinges. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. It could well be the aileron hinges and, and, and me just doing the wing tip. So perhaps a, a, a nice short video. And then we need to get on with the fuselage, which will be really good. I'm, I'm looking forward to starting the fuselage. And uh, we can hang this up. And, uh, and I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you got something from it. Please subscribe. Please come back and follow us on this journey building this new era three.